My name is Atsa. I am the biology teacher at Petra Edward Training Institute. So today I am going to tell you about a superhero. You know what is that? Yes. So that one is plants. Plants are the superheroes because they have their magical power. What is that? They can convert the sunlight energy into the chemical energy by the procedure by which the plants can convert the light energy into the chemical energy we call them that one is photosynthesis so yes this is our topic so today we are going to talk about photosynthesis basically photosynthesis consists of two words we are having the one we can say Photo is derived from a word that one is photon. Do you know what this photon means? It means light. And the other one we are having, we can say that one is synthesis. Synthesis means where the production of something will be occur. So photosynthesis is the procedure by which the plants can prepare their own food in the presence of sunlight. What is the food of the plant? Do you know? I will tell you. The food of the plant is glucose. What is that? Glucose. So plants can prepare their own food, their glucose. How can they prepare their own glucose? So plants can use the light energy as well as what are the other things the plants are going to use here? Yes. So the carbon dioxide we are having. What is that? The carbon dioxide. So plants can use carbon dioxide which is present where in the atmosphere and they can also use some other we can say that one is the water what is that the water so plants can use the carbon dioxide and we are having the water so as a result what they can produce they can produce glucose as well as they can also give us oxygen you know which part of the plant the photosynthesis will be occur. It's occurring in the leaves. And the which portion of the leaves we are having? We can say we are having a, an organelle inside the leaf cells. We call them that one is chloroplast. Chloroplast is the organelle where the photosynthesis which will absorb the sunlight. Okay, because of this one. So the leaf cells have the large number of chloroplasts. And the chloroplasts have a green pigment. We call them that one is chlorophyll which is the green color pigment so <coughs> plants can utilize the carbon dioxide they can use the water and where it is occurring in chloroplast so we can say which one is required chlorophyll as well as what plants use they can use sunlight <coughs> so plants can use carbon dioxide and the water molecule in the presence of sun light and the chlorophyll so they can produce glucose as well as oxygen so let's talk about the chemical equation of this one so plants are going to produce glucose what is the formula of glucose it's c6 h12 o6 what is the formula of oxygen o2 okay and the procedures are clean we are having the water so can i write the water like this and what we're having carbon dioxide so can I write carbon dioxide like this? But the equation is not balanced. So how can we balance this one? Here we are having C6H12O6. So we are having the 6 carbon. So can I write here 6 here? And 12 here we are having. So can I write here 6? 6 to the 12. And then how many molecules of oxygen we are having? 6. So this is the balanced equation of the photosynthesis. So I hope the topic will be clear. If you have any question, then let me know. Bye-bye.